Hey everyone, it's Yuna. So today I have a haul for you guys. It's kind of a haul slash winter essentials video. I picked up a couple of things online which have slowly but surely gotten to me. So let's get started with my haul. The first store I ordered from was Topshop. I ordered on the website and I highly, highly recommend that you just somehow, some way, even if Topshop is not close to you, get yourself to an actual store. The closest top shop to me is in Yorkdale and I just couldn't really be bothered to make the commute so I just ordered online but it is way too expensive to order online. When you order from Topshop, um, you have to pay a crazy like tax and duties fee for my package which in, I think it's in pounds, yeah it's in pounds. So it was supposed to be a hundred and fifty pounds, convert that into Canadian dollars and it was over $200 and then as soon as my package arrived at the post office I had to pay another $80 in taxes to pick it up and then of course the shoes or one of the pairs of the shoes that I got was the wrong size and to send it back okay to send back these shoes it would have costed me $200 to send them back in order to get back a hundred bucks absolutely ridiculous so I ended up actually going to a top shop, the top shop in Yorkdale, and I saw the shoes and they were on sale. So I could have saved myself a whole ton of money if I just got myself to a top shop. Yeah. So these are the shoes that I got. They're just leopard print booties from Top Shop. They kind of feel like pony fur. Um, they're faux fur, obviously, and they just have a leopard print, a chunky heel, they're extremely, extremely comfortable. These are the ones that I actually found my correct size at the Topshop store, and I'm going to try to return the ones that I bought online in the store. Hopefully that works. Hopefully I'm not going to hell for it. I was initially drawn to them because Lauren Elizabeth, who is my absolute favorite YouTuber, like, ever, I'm slightly obsessed. Um, she bought YSL booties that literally they look the same. The only difference is they're lighter and the heel's a bit higher and the toe is a bit longer and pointed because they are YSL. So these are from Topshop, way, way cheaper. Um, if you get them in the store at Yorkdale, they're $65. So yeah, what a great steal. Another pair of shoes that I got from Topshop, also kind of inspired by Lauren Elizabeth's style because like I said, I'm obsessed are these flats right here they're absolutely adorable they look like the Stuart Wiseman flats that you see every fashion blogger wearing and I actually prefer these because they have a zipper in the back so you can just slip your foot in put the zipper on the Stuart Wiseman one does not have a zipper so it does not come up as high but these are so cute and they look like exactly the same other than that, if not better. Another pair of booties that I got recently from Winners are these right here. Also inspired by Lauren Elizabeth. Like I'm literally looking like a stalker right now, but like she has a great style, so I'm obsessed. So these booties right here are Tommy Hilfiger. I got them from Winners. They were a bit pricey. They were $129. And that's comparable to $230. They're extremely comfortable. You don't even need to take the buckle off to just slip them inside. They're very stretchy. And yeah, I love them. So I got this case from Wild Wildflower. This is my first Wildflower case. Absolutely obsessed. As you can see, Drake is on it. It's so funny. And I got it um, for their Black Friday sale. So the case was actually $30. And I think if I... If I bought it regularly um, and ship it to me and everything, it would have costed almost $50, so I did save a bit of money there. I really wanted the avocado case, but it wasn't available for the 6 Plus, so I just got the Drake one. It's kind of like a gag case. It's totally adorable and very durable as well. Another item that I got for myself, like, I honestly treat myself better than like most people treat themselves, I think. Um, it's not the bag. Let's... Well, pay attention to the bag because it's a cute bag, but I got this little key puff here. Guess who it's inspired by? Yeah, Laura Elizabeth. So, <laughs> I got this key puff from Velvet Caviar, that's what it's called. Vel VelvetCaviar.com. It's so adorable. I have a lot of bags. 
and it looks good on every single one of them so I'm totally obsessed with that purchase. The second last item that is part of my haul is just this jacket here from Donye. It's just a merlot color with fur trim and just leather detailing. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's mid-length and I've been really trying to find a um, longer jacket that covers the bum and is about uh, mid-thigh that doesn't make me look like a sausage. <laughs> and I really wanted a TNA jacket, the long one, for a really long time, but it just, it would not fit me properly. And I tried this on, immediately fell in love, and I got it for myself. The last item that is part of my haul is this blouse over here. It's just a beautiful red blouse. It's looking a little orange on camera, but it is a true red, and it has this crisscross detailing down the back. It doesn't go too far down. And if you wear a blazer, you're not even going to be able to tell, and you're going to be able to wear it to the office as well. Three-quarter length sleeve, a high-low cut, and this is from Winners. It was $24.99. Um, I got a few blouses recently just because I'm trying to find a new job. So I got a bunch of interview blouses, and I absolutely love this one. This, um, I actually have an outfit planned out. I don't want to spoil it. I'm going to do another video for an interview outfit if you want to do something uh, more fashion, which is what I'm trying to go into. But yeah, this is an absolutely adorable blouse. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below what was your favorite item in my haul and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this one or any other videos. If you have suggestions, just leave them down below as well. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!